The Mohawk Valley Center for the Arts in Little Falls presents Local Arts. The arts have always played an important part in Flo Hope's life. Growing up in Chicago, her mother exposed her and her brothers to a wide variety of cultural activities. As a military wife, she has lived all over the world. But it wasn't until the early 70s in her hometown of Chicago that she discovered her love of basketry. Uh, we were just coming back from being stationed in Japan six, uh, from 68 to 71. And at, uh, we drove through Chicago and stopped at my folks' house. And my mother had a Hank of Reed and a little booklet in her basement. So I said, oh, just let me take this and play around with it. And so that was, that was, that was it. I, I played around and then started teaching um, at the Art Center after about a year. And of course, when you teach, you find out how much you don't know. So I really scurried to find out more. Since there was no one making baskets at the time, or it wasn't a big deal, um, I really learned on my own. And um, it started writing articles for magazines in the 80s, wrote a book in the mid-80s, another one in the mid-90s, and one just published again. But uh, it's kind of an interesting um, thing. With round reed, it's not that popular. The flat reed or anything with flat elements is the big deal. And so um, many people have bought, written books about it, classes on it, but I, I have like a special little niche because um, I've written two books on the subject that are really the the Bibles of the um, that particular kind of basketry. In fact, uh, my book has been translated into German. As a world-renowned basket maker and teacher, the demand for Flo's basketry classes has taken her around the world. Uh, well, all over the U.S. and uh, Japan, Russia, where I celebrated my 57th birthday in the dangerous Russian forest harvesting birch bark, a very unique experience. Uh, Australia a couple times, um, Tahiti, um, Hawaii, just, you know, people seem to, from all over the world, seem to want to learn. Uh, like, like in Japan, incredible, they have living treasures, and uh, their, their works are just mind-boggling, just you, you can't believe what they do. Uh, it's interesting, they, uh, have baskets that look very simple but are very difficult to do. Whereas uh, the American mindset is have a have a, uh, incre a, a difficult looking basket that's really very simple to make. So a basketry has a place in every culture, and if you go around the United States, you'll find uh, indigenous basketry like uh, the Indians out west will use grasses and do coiling. The the ones in the Midwest will use um, flat elements um, like no, oak is, oak is down in the south, but uh, black ash or white ash up in the mid, mid, Midwest and out east. So, yeah, it's, it's what, what materials were available, and they just learned what to do with it. You can visit Flo Hope Studio and dozens of other artist studios during the Independent Art Studio Tour next Saturday and Sunday, May 16th and 17th. Pick up a tour guide at the College Street Cafe, Cafe Domenico, the Tramontane, or the Utica Public Library. Or visit our website, mohawkvalleyliving.com.